Hello YouTube, this is Krozama, and here we have the Figma review of Black Rock Shooter, the TV animation version. So, it looks really, really cool. I'm digging, I don't know, I'm just digging it. It's definitely one of my favorite Figmas. I only have three, including her, but this is definitely one of the top ones. So, let's go ahead and put her to the side real quick, and take a look at the box. The box is a box. So... Product number 140, I guess it's like all the Figma like products or something, I don't know. So here you can see it's a TV animation version, and you know, when it's in the box, I wish I would have made a video before, but you don't, you don't really see much. I'm like, okay, what's well, whatever, you know, you see her, and you see this gun, and it's whatever. Then you look over here, you see her with the little hood, and I'm like, oh, it's sick. And you see some awesome poses, I was just like, holy crap, you can see her the hood, and then her with the hood without the hood but with the fire and then hood again with the open cannon and awesomeness and here you can see some facials yeah <laughs> facials uh, oh god so and here's on, her on the side without the hood so that's it for that uh, let's go ahead and grab her okay yeah I got her all looking crazy and stuff got her with the hood yep alright but anyways uh, got it. I don't even know where to start Alright, get out of that pose. That pose is obscure. Alright, let's just go ahead and take a look at her in general real quick. Alright, let's get the sword out your hand. Alright. Okay, so, posability. Let's start with, with the hood on. Okay, she has the hood on. Now, I can't, for some reason, get her to get, like, she can't move it back. She can move, like, side to side and all that stuff. But it won't go like back and forth. It just kind of like stays. And the fact it's looking down like that, it re I really can't do too many uh, dynamic poses. But uh, let's see. Let's go for the arms. The arms are really cool. You know, they can rotate. The little sleeves can rotate and all that stuff. Goes like in and out. You know, even her hand. Like some of the hands can wave around and stuff. Some of the multiple hands. I'm going to show you in a minute. But uh, that's pretty much for the arms. They definitely move up about pretty good. Now, she moves right here, right below the, um, the goods. Well, what little goods she has. But they go side to side, like so. I always thought it was the hips, because the, uh, well, the hips can move a little bit, but really just back and forth, but not really side to side. But, yeah, she can go back and forth and side to side and all that good stuff, whatever kind of dance movement that is. All right, so looking at the legs, legs can go up, legs can go back, and side splitting she can split uh some what there we go yeah she doing a split all right legs can move well knee joints can move pretty good and uh the foot can actually move back and forth not really side to side yeah, it looks like it's just back and forth so yeah that's pretty cool though all right and moving on to the cape the cape can definitely do a lot of movements. I mean, look at that crazy stuff. You know. So, bring it all the way down. You can wrap her in it a little bit. Like, I think I think that's pretty cool. And then this is kind of like a, you know, it's all rubber. So, that's pretty cool. And then there's a slot for you can put the little stand right inside. So that's really cool too. Alright, now let's go ahead and just look, look at the uh, the different things that she comes with. All right, put your arms down, girl. Put your arms down. There we go. All right. So we're just going to put her to the side. Put her right inside there. All right, stand yourself up. All right. For weapons, she's going to get the black sword, which is really cool looking. Um, we can go ahead and compare it to the uh, VOVA one. Here. Here's the difference between the two. This one has, like, the little gold, which is nice. So it's, a, it's pretty much a big difference between the two. You know, they got this little part right here, and the hilt is completely different. So, that's really cool, though. I really do like this sword a lot better. And let's go ahead and look at the rock cannon. God, this thing is cool. So, I already got the hand attached to it. just attached right there. This can actually come off, and, uh, like, this little thing right here. Just got to, like, peel it back, and it pop off. But it's kind of a bitch to get back on sometimes. All right, but this is what's interesting. Okay, you see here she's already on a thickness there, right? comes with a, another, it comes with two stands, so that way you can plug this in to the cannon to where she can hold it. I was just like, 
get the flock out of here and it can open up like that it's like a satellite cannon thing it's freaking sick oh my god all right so that's about it for that uh let's compare the cannons for both okay big significant difference as far as size i mean look how huge get back girl get back all right so that's definitely a huge difference but uh this one doesn't open this one does so that's really cool and uh Let's put that to the side, that's the side. It also comes with one of these to where you can like grapple it onto her waist. And I guess it's pretty cool. I mean you could do a couple of different poses and rather what you could for the just the insert, you know, stand part. But this is really cool. I really like this. This is really good for like Gundams and stuff. So I'm just gonna keep that on the side in case I ever wanna, you know, use it. And uh, she comes with a separate head and she comes with two different pairs. She has the one with the fire and then one just normal. So that's really cool, and you just put it on the same way as any other Figma. So let's take off the head for this one, like so. Pop, pop. All right, and then we're gonna insert this one. And come on, there you go. All right, so there it is. I think we can get a little bit more. And no, that's it. So goes down that much, up that much, rock side to side, and the hair also has some pretty good articulation can rotate in various positions and I love the hair on this one a lot more than the OVA one it's darker it's like it's, it's pure black this one's more of a blue this one's actually like it, you can see a little blue but it looks it looks more black so you know this one's a little bit more wilder and stuff so even the fires like all crazy and stuff so it's really cool and you can definitely see differences in the uh, overall outfit this one has a star on the front well, they actually will have sword in front. I just noticed that. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a lot of difference. Instead of a zipper, like the OVA one has, she has a buckle right up here. You can see. All right. And uh, the eyes are really, really different. Like, let's look. Let's take a look at the eyes. See how close we can get. You see, that one's all swirly and stuff. And this one is not. Well, it has one swirl, but yeah. Now faces. I'm pretty sure y'all wondering. It only comes with two faces. I already have one in here, but it's not. It's not much different. It's kind of like I think she's like looking a little bit to the right or something. And then this one just normal, like just looking forward. So there's like almost no difference. I, I wish they would have came with a third one or something, because I really like different uh, face facial expressions. So uh, I keep on bringing this one up. All right, let's look at the legs on the difference. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, her heels are a little bit higher. Definitely the cloak or trench coat, whatever, different. Has the white lining and all that stuff. Both have the same star. So, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, it comes with a bag to where you can put all the goodies in there. And it comes with multiple hands. That's really cool. I love hands. Oh, I just forgot about something. Alright, forgot this little attachment. This is the, uh, the hoodie. You just, come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Alright, so you pop that off. And you just pretty much slip this right in there, and there's a little like peg part right in the back of the head, right there, and right in the front of the chest that you pretty much plug them in. So that plugs into there. And I just gotta plug this one into the back, like so, and then this one like so. It's kind of hard to get in there. If you want, you can glue it or something. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Do what you need to do. But uh. I do like her like this. I think this is pretty cool, but I also like the hooded part. So that's pretty much all I got. I mean, there's not really much else. Both of the figmas are really awesome. And she's like, what? oh my god. She's like breaking apart. That's cool though. So they're both really cool. Uh, but if I had to go on a, like, if I had to choose between which one, definitely go the TV version. TV version is freaking awesome. Um, I'm really glad I got her and it just, it just sparked my interest on getting every single um, Figma from Black Rock Shooter. At least the Black Rock Shooter, like her herself, the Figmas. So uh, that's going to be about it guys. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to do a couple more Figmas here and there as I buy them. So I'll see y'all later.